My name is Alice Ellis. I am coming to you to talk to you about my husband, James Ellis, about his Alzheimer's disease that he had. First thing in the morning we do, we uh, get up in the morning and he come in here and take his blood pressure, take his uh, sugar, check see what his sugar is. And then, after get through with that, he go, we eat breakfast. He take five pills a day, and he had to take Alzheimer's medicine, he had to take uh, blood pressure medicine, he had to take diabetes medicine, he had to take uh, cholesterol medicine, and another one, but I can't think of the name of that one. But anyway, it's, it's, we have some good days, we have some bad days. Some days, but we don't talk sometimes, like, maybe say five words to each other all day long because he get in a moody uh, uh, stage where he don't talk or have conversations and stuff. So most of the time he go outside and sit out there up under the tree and stuff. And then he come back in the house, maybe sit down and watch TV. We at a stage where he asked me questions over and over again, what's the day of the week? He asked that sometimes four or five times a day. And it's just hard, and I don't understand a whole lot of things about the, 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 the disease. It's a journey going through it because, you know, he doesn't remember as much as he should. And for example, if he's at the house and He'll repeat and ask the same question over and over again, but he like not knowing that he does it. One day uh, he got ready, he got ready to go to the uh, store to get him a pack of cigarettes. So he left around about one o'clock, and I got kind of worried about him because he hadn't made it back to the house around about two something. So I called my son, and he told me I need to call the police, uh, send an Amber Alert by phone because he had Alzheimer's, so we didn't know whether he had got lost or he couldn't find a way back home because we had just moved over here. So the police came by and everything, then they went out, looked, looked for him and everything. They found him up the street from the house, uh, standing out looking because he was confused and know where the house was and everything, but everything worked out okay. So after that, the police, told him that he didn't need to drive no more, that uh, it was dangerous for him to be driving and flew around and get confused and know where he was going, might wind up hitting someone or something like that. So he, they taking the keys away from him, but I had a hard time with him with uh, about the keys. He said that he still could drive, but at the same time, I'd be telling him he can't drive no more. So finally, we decided to sell the van. So after we sold the van and everything, so he, uh, got kind of halfway used to not driving anymore and everything. So now he, only time he go places now when I take him to the doctor or go visit someone or go to church and stuff. But some days he don't feel like going, going nowhere. I don't feel like going to church or nothing like that. But other than that, he doing pretty good. He's just forgetting more and more every day. People that are taking care of their loved one is to, uh, Pray, ask God to give you strength and faith to try to uh, keep on taking care of your loved one as long as you can. That's the only thing I can say because uh, if you put them in a home, you ain't gonna never know what's going on in that home with them. So if you can keep them at home as long as you can, you try your best to keep them at home with, with you.